Tonight at 10, millions of people will pay more in tax and more for their energy as the Chancellor unveils his plans to tackle the cost of living. Jeremy Hunt says the most vulnerable will be protected as the UK grapples with recession, the highest level of tax since World War II and the biggest fall in living standards for more than half a century. I have tried to be fair by following two broad principles. Firstly, we ask those with more to contribute more. And secondly, we avoid the tax rises that damage growth. The Conservatives have picked the pockets of purses and wallets of the entire yeah. country as the Chancellor has deployed a raft of stealth taxes, oh, taking tax. billions of pounds from ordinary working people. Help with energy bills will be cut back from April. Typical bills will rise from £2,500 to £3,000 a year. But pensions and benefits will go up by more than 10% in line with inflation and the minimum wage will rise too. It's all looking positive. I'm quite happy. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite overwhelmed, actually. How are we going to make ends meet? How are we going to pay for our bills? How are we going to pay for our gas and electric? I have absolutely no idea. And coming up on the BBC News Channel, they can't wait to get started, but the heat delays Wales' first training session in Qatar ahead of their opening World Cup group game on Monday. Good evening. Millions of people will pay more in tax, more for energy bills and face high inflation as the UK faces a recession. The Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, has unveiled his plans to tackle the cost of living crisis and rebuild the economy. He said his priorities were stability, growth and public services. This is what he announced. Income tax thresholds will be frozen until 2028, meaning as your pay rises, you'll be dragged into higher tax bans. So millions of people will pay more in income tax. Also, anyone earning more than 125,000 a year will now pay the top rate of tax, 45p in a pound, though different rates apply in Scotland. There will be more help with energy bills, but it will be less generous. From April, a typical household will pay £3,000 a year for gas and electricity. The windfall tax on oil and gas companies who've profited from soaring energy prices will rise from 25 to 35 per cent and be extended until 2028. Spending on public services in England will rise more slowly than planned, with some departments facing cuts after the next election. But there will be extra money for schools, the NHS and social care in England for the next two years. But there's good news for those on pensions and benefits. They will rise by more than 10% from April in line with inflation. And the national living wage will also rise by more than 9% to £10.42 per hour. Well, the Chancellor said he was having to make difficult decisions to ensure a shallower downturn and blamed the recession on Russia. But Labour said the country's economic challenges have been the result of government mistakes and not just global factors. In a moment, we'll be going through the detail and how it'll affect you with our economics and business editors. But first, here's our political editor, Chris Mason. <laughs> 